Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Savannah and today, as you can tell, I have my full face of makeup done except for my eyes and I wanted to do a more dark, sultry look with the Tati Beauty palette. So I'm going to dip into some colors that are more or less outside of my comfort zone and yeah, if you stay tuned till the very end, there's going to be a little bit of a surprise for ya. <sighs> I'm excited. Necklace is flipped, of course. It's me. Um, yeah, as always, this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. <sighs> Alright, here we go. I'm just, I've been feeling a little, um, I don't know, I guess kind of uninspired lately. And I just wanted to push myself outside of that comfort zone. Alright. So, get off of me. There's a hair stuck. Alright. Um, I'm just going to take a all right, more of a flat brush here and dip into the matte aura shade, that little skin tone color, and use that to just quick set my lid. I'm really excited for this. I'm... I'm definitely going to be tapping into the memory and ritual rose, so the darker two. <sighs> so, definitely 100% like outside of my comfort zone. Alright, breathe. It's going to be okay, Savannah. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, I just, I don't know. With everything that's been going on in the world, I'm just a little, a little lots of the videos you've been seeing are 100% pre-filmed. So I'm going to grab this fluffy brush here and go in with the matte soothe shade just to start off that transition. Do, do, do. Just build that up a bit. been a while since I've used this palette honestly rather than just sticking with the um shades in the aura row oh, that's like my safety net I like those I'm a big fan of a lighter and brighter eye <laughs> if you guys haven't figured that out yet all right figured I'd use this eye because the other one is the one that just hates everything I do that brush down and I'm gonna grab a more <laughs> more narrow fluffy brush and I'm gonna go whoo, into the ritual shade that matte dark brown <sighs> breathe it's gonna be okay Savannah I'm feeling it right yes I am okay <sighs> YouTube is my escape from what's going on in the real world so I do not want to talk about it all the videos I've been watching are just everyone's mentioning it and I just I can't I can't I'm sorry all right grab a clean frothy I probably should have done my eyes first. Oh well. It's all fun and games. Just clean fluffy brush to blend that together. I don't want that to go all the way in. And no, I usually don't practice the looks I'm doing. I just kind of come up with the game plan in my head and go for it. Probably not the best way to do it, but that's how my brain works. All right, grab my A. <laughs> my smallest fr fruffy. What is with me in that word today? Fluffy. Fluffy, like the dog from Call of Duty Zombies. I am a nerd. All right, I'm dipping into that black memory shade. Gently. Alright. Whew. And I'm going to slowly layer 
clear that up. <laughs> Focusing it just like on the outer portion here so far. Okay. Getting a bit of kickback. Just mostly just right down there. Alright, now same brush sweeping it into the middle of my crease and to the front. That's what it's looking like with my eye open. I'm going to grab that fluffy brush from before that was clean and all I used it was for blending. Use that just to blend right up in here. I wonder, this, I, this look might actually call for um, liner. We'll see. All right, dipping into more memory. There's some kickback in the pan. Just want to make sure yeah, it stays deeper right in there. <sighs> okay. I'm mostly packing it on to blend out. That way I don't just lose all the pigment I'd put there. All right. that down for a moment <sighs> do I want the sequin glitter or metallic black shade hmm. let's see I go with sequin a lot that's a lot more subtle let's see I'm going with that metallic shade on my finger from memory that black metallic putting it right there right Ooh, pretty mm -hmm. let's see I just can't get that right up against my lash line Okay. Whoo. Whoo. All right. Naturally, no. We're going with this you know, almost clean fluffy brush. I'm going to dip into that match soothe shade and run that across my lower lash line. And being okay if I pick up a little bit of that black from the outer portion. <laughs> You're going for it, so... You might as well go for it. Let that black in. I'm going in with the dark brown ritual shade. Doing the same thing, but not bringing that in as far. Same brush though. All right. And then I'm grabbing that really itty bitty little, little fluffy brush from before. Dot of that memory shade. On the very outer portion. Mm-hmm. 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's see. Cleaner, more fluffy brush. I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna grab the aura and soothe matte shades and just kind of blend that right along underneath those. To soften that edge as much as I can. Okay. I am going to. I want a little darker right, right in there. Let's grab some memory and ritual fallout. Mix here. That 
did exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna grab that thinner blush. Savannah's lost all English. Okay. I'm going to take a minute and I catch the other eye up. And yeah, we'll see where to go from there. Okay, I am back with a whole array of stuff to use and play with. All right, first off, I'm thinking I'm going to start with the NYX Wonder Pencil in Light. I'm gonna use that just on my lower lash line here. Make my eyes just a hair bit bigger. All right, okay, there's that. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil in perversion and oh it, it, it's like gone that's very disappointing well I grabbed a different eyeliner and that'll have to work then it's the L'Oreal Infallible long wear eye pencil in brown trying to read upside down is not my strong suit that right up against my lash line as if you can even see it at all okay. <laughs> did nothing I don't think it needs eyeliner honestly anymore okay. I'm gonna take my Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in Stella yes I don't need to look at the name anymore in this Pop that right on the inner corner. Make sure I don't have black on it for this part. Popped it under my brow higher. If you want, you can always pop like a almost white color right there and make that just boing, pop. Okay. All right. <sighs> Mascara, I'm gonna go in with my The Pretty Vulgar Faux Reels in Black Swan. Okay. <laughs> Trying to not give you any weird faces while I do mascara today. Make sure to get that on that bo that those bottom lashes. All right, give that a moment to dry, and I've decided I'm gonna take a. We'll go with this. I'm gonna go into that Aura Matte shade. Sh no, I'm gonna go in the metallic shade with a brush. And just pop it right on the inner portion here on the lower lash line just to help brighten that up same brush I'm gonna pop that everywhere it's such a pretty color which you all know because I use it like all the time eyes are done. I'm going to quick put on my ColourPop Zippy Pencil in the shade Osnia. Oh, I just don't really need something over border. Oh, I forgot two ears. I put them over here for a reason. Dang it. And actually, does 
Do the lips need something more? Yeah, I'm gonna grab my nude flower petal pout lip liner in, where'd it go? Beige. I'm gonna put that on too. The other side of that opens this way, thank you. Just kind of messily putting that in the middle. I'm just gonna messily blend that all together here. I'm gonna add a little bit of that pink back here. You know, kind of come just gotta find that combination that you like and makes you feel confident because. You're rocking this, not anyone else. Oh my goodness. And that, that is the finished look. You could always pop on an extra set of lashes or something and just go a little all out. You can add that wing, but I personally do not think that I need the wing. Actually, I'm gonna pop a little more black right there. I feel like that poofed away. And my nose is just, no, bad, bad nose. They're perfect. All right, I'm gonna quick take some thumbnail pictures and then I'm gonna show you that big surprise. And so far, if you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, same thing. Comment, subscribe, ring that bell, see more of my goofy advice, see what I come up with next. Hopefully I will start feeling a lot more inspired, but I don't know. We will see what happens. Alright, thumbnail time. Okay, are you ready for this prize? I took a little inspo from a different YouTuber and did something to force myself to practice. Something else that scares me. He shaved off the end of my tail, my, wow, the tails of my arrows. Did you notice? Leave me a comment if you noticed that I did that. But if you already knew I did that, don't comment. Don't ruin it. That's cheating. All right, anyway, I love you all. I hope to see you all in my next video. 